What's poppin' air gunners? I'm Denny, the Flat Broke Air Gunner, and today is gonna be Target Testing Tuesday, and we're looking at Do All Outdoors the Cowbell. I haven't even opened this up yet. We got it at uh, all right. I think I got this one off of Amazon. So I'm gonna check it out right now for the first time, and then we're gonna take it outside in the yard and beat it up with this new 22 Benjamin I just got. So get rid of that. Looks like it comes all, all in one piece, all together, ready to rock. So, once again, there's the, the package. Okay, in person, I'm going to flip this over, and I want you to go down real slow. If you're interested in any of the stats that are on the back of this box, please pause the video and check them out. I'm sure it all has to do with safety features of this, and this is set up for a rim fire so i'm sure it'll be able to handle whatever i throw at it up to 30 cal is with air gun ammo but this is the basic packaging and the basic rundown i'm going to peel it out of this bag and then like i said we're going to take it out in the backyard and throw a bunch of lead down range at it and see hopefully uh, it rings out makes a bunch of noise i heard somebody on uh the facebook group say that it barely rings out with a Rimfire gun, so we'll see. Whoa! Whoa! Getting away from me. Alright. Trusty FBA knife. Oof. Oh, this thing is heavy duty. Look how thick. This is not a cowbell like you'd see on a cow, because this would give a cow scoliosis. This thing is about that it's this thick. It's crazy thick. It'll ring, but I don't think a, a pellet's really going to make that react a whole lot. But anyways, there you go. The same on both sides. I like the little step down part to where you can stick it down in the ground. So stay tuned. We're about to take this out in the backyard and throw some lead at it, like I said, and see how she does. Those were the shots, Air Gunners. I heard online, uh, someone t uh, posted in the group when I posted the picture of this, that this bell would not ring with an air gun. And as you watched on the video, that is not true. Not only did it ring from the impact, but it also rang like that. Not as severe as that, but you could hear a little clang from the gong in there. You could see we put a, a half a tin of uh, Crossman Hollow Point Premier 14.3 grain 22s we this was half empty we put that down and and dropped it you can see all the damage done this is what it looked like when we started out this is what it looks like now and there is not any deformation in the metal at all it's still like brand new a coat of paint or a new decal and you can continue to shoot this again i would say for the rest of your life this is set up for center fire, not for an air gun. I love it. I definitely will keep this in my uh, uh, collection. I've been have spent the whole afternoon, as you can tell by the damage on there, tearing this thing up. It's definitely worth the money. And there's going to be a link at the, or not a link, but a screenshot at the end of the video. So if you're thinking about getting one of these, I would say absolutely get one of these. They're awesome, super fun. They ring out and make all kinds of noise. It's, just, it's a good time all the way around. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Not only does your viewership, but your friendship truly means a lot to me. Always be a straight shooter. Always wear your shooting glasses when you're shooting. Stay flat broke for life. People take care out there and God bless.